Hi, welcome back to Paper Mario. Old door. Paper Marty. Um, it's been a couple days because I was a very sick boy. But, um, I think we'll be fine. We have six of the seven MacGuffins. Uh, Danaru is with us today. Hey! And, uh, I have no idea what's happening. Okay, um, well... What is, what is the Beepus? Oh, oh, don't worry, I'll show Please you. Please fill me Beepus. in. Well, Beepus, it's hard to explain. Part of Beepus is that it's a funny thing that happens in anime. Like, well, the best part of Beepus is anime, um, because they'll put in Pepsi and it, like, looks close enough to Japanese viewers, you know, without breaking, like, copyright stuff. So they'll put in Beepus, and that's just funny. Um, but then this is Beepus. We named- you get to name one character in this whole game, and it's this stupid Yoshi with a mohawk. <laughs> this tiny- and it's extremely funny when you write him because he is tiny. And so we have named this tiny child Beepus. Um, it's like extra <laughs> oh funny God, when you animation. take- Yeah, when you take into account that everyone else like has proper capitalization and just Beepus. Lowercase Beepus. So Beepus is excellent. Um, we are currently in, uh, not Russia. And... Trying to find a way to launch ourselves to the moon. Uh... Okay, mm -hmm. I can roll with that. Yeah, you know, just whatever, no big reason. That's <laughs> it, fuck it, let's go to the moon. Why not? Yeah, um, well that's because Princess uh, Peach is there. And, um, also the last MacGuffin, which we need to open the MacGuffin gate, which we now know has a 1,000 year old, or probably older, an ancient demon soul behind it. Um, oh, and then, sweet. Let's open that up. Yeah, we're gonna just open that right up. Just let that out and say hello. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, someone probably told Mario it was spaghetti and told Beepus it was, uh, also spaghetti. I'm guessing. Billy to anything. Yeah, Beepus is kind of stupid. I'll um, be honest, that would, would work on me. What? They'd so be like, just... hey, just fucking open up that door, there's spaghetti behind it. I'd be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Whoa, did you say spaghetti? Yeah. Yeah, I'm down with it. Also, this is a very subtle uh, but good joke. Wherein they point out that da is in fact, you know. I, I don't understand why the bombs are Russian, but I'm alright with it. <laughs> it's it's kind of great. <laughs> Da, da, da. Would you like to sell da? Um, if I didn't have to backtrack uh, all the damn time, which is another theme of this game, um, an obnoxious amount of uh, backtracking, I would run back oh, to fun. the main uh, town and cook my spaghetti. So everybody's Have you denying. got the double cook yet or no? I I do, I do. Uh, you can get that pretty early. And, alright, so now we have some kind of puzzle to solve, I guess. Which, sure, why not? Um, let's ask Disco Dave. Alright, he, he's way into the lady at the inn, who is a mom. Nice. Love has no boundaries, man. <laughs> God, I love the writing for this area. It's so oddly stereotypical, yet charming. It's not like it doesn't <laughs> make body and man better, da. Yeah? <laughs> Welcome to Inn. Mm -hmm. Stay up one night is it's only like... 15 coins. You like rest? Come back again, da. <laughs> like, it's, just... it's like the uh, punch out version of stereotypes where it's like, yeah, but also it's really charming. It's a stereotype, so it's kind of okay. but it's not malicious. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly, that's it. In this case, it's just like mannerisms. How do I con these jerks into admitting there is a cannon? Maybe I should ask, uh, goo Goofball. Yeah, they do have a huge cannon, like... Maybe I have to pull out the Admiral and have the Admiral give them a talking to. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, actually, yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> Admiral's just like, Got the horse shit, Papa. I know. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> military. <laughs> just gets really dark. Who better to know how to talk to a bomb than a bomb? Oh my gosh, he literally is talking about... He, he's literally pulling the, like, whole, like, a mech's military card right now. I love this. Alright, so we have two not fetch quests um, where we definitely aren't going to find two people and then probably bring them back. Yeah, I have to find two people and then come back uh, here. Did I mention that? kind of quest. Kind of a theme of this game um, is a lot of go find thing. We come back. Brutal. Mm hmm. Um, and I'm, sh I'm thinking, okay, so I'll probably need to talk to people with Bobbery to see if I can coerce more information out of anybody. Hello, do you know where... Mm, I feel like I'm supposed to, like, get info from one of them as to where the heck I'm supposed to go? Go up to random people going, yes, how to moon? <laughs> Hello, Dasvidanya. <laughs> yes, I need to moon. Please tell me how to moon. Dude, that's not even close to the right language. Whatever. <laughs> Just start every sentence with Bobbery with, I'm ex-military, cut the crap. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> every single person in town. I'm a Navy SEAL, I'll, have, I'll, I'll mess you up good. <laughs> I'm swearing in Mario. That's <laughs> already getting hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like no, we don't get any info. Which means, beep us, we ride. Dun 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 dun. And also use turbo. Dun 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 dun. Oh, think so. There's combat out here. And now I have to remember how my moves are. Um, well, I know one of them. So I got this move, like, right at the beginning of the game, and turns out, yeah, it's still the best move in the game. Nice. These guys have a crap load of help, though, wowie. Um, also, I have the badge that lets me just switch people. Just whenever. Which is, like, super... Ca oh, I should have stayed at the end, I guess. Oh, well... Oh wow, we only have 15 flower points. Yeah, I think I had to like shuffle bags around at some point. Huh. Hmm. I also do cheaper moves, but just on Mario. Yeah, cheaper moves, but they're not fire drive. Uh, well no, fire drive is considerably cheaper. Uh, it only costs two. I think instead of like five which is like quite good I just have very few points yeah fire or fire drive cost three instead of five okay oh right you have those the cost downs that's right mm -hmm, but they only work for Mario so unfortunately fire jinx eh. so very expensive like you said before, I think you might be onto something with getting Goombella to ultra mode so she can just double up on Mario moves. Yeah. I think that Fire ability, drives every day. I think that ability costs points, though. It does, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know how quite how effective it would be. I mean, you could just start putting points in flower points once you have enough, like once you have all the badges you think you'll need. Yeah. Which is never enough. I, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I still I don't even have my Flower Point Plus badge on. Because I don't have enough badge points. Hmm. But luckily, One Sweet Feast, like, is a full restore to everything. 
Um, but yeah, unfortunately, due to how much everything costs. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry, I, was, I had to put in complex inputs, which means I sound like an idiot. That's just how that works. Just thinking of the time you got two separate all B inputs in a row. That was amazing! <laughs> Odds are pretty damn low for that. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I didn't feel like doing math, but they are low. Yeah, fuck math. <laughs> math is for nerds. <laughs> we have things to murder. Also, the nice thing is this fog makes things hard to hit, but this plant is also quite on fire. We can't dodge being on fire. It doesn't work. No, get out of here. Yeah, I hear you, dumb cloud. I'm <laughs> look, I'm... Oh, gosh. Also, enemies start to get kind of annoying to dodge, like, by design, but it it's kind of obnoxious when you're really ah. just trying to find a guy. Mm. Um, if anyone just wants to look up where this uh, chump is, I'm fine with that. Let's see, so you gotta find Gold Bob... Gold, what's gold, got? gold Bob, and General White. Wasn't Gold Bob the guy on the train? I think so, which would mean he's in uh, Rich, Rich Town. Yeah. So we have General White then. I don't, I don't remember where he is. Oh, so yeah, so it, it is just totally just backtrack to other areas of the game entirely. Nice. <laughs> Good. Good. Great. Um, that, well, that sounds like fun. Uh-huh. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. This is some nonsense. Yeah? <laughs> so, you go to... I think it's like one of those things where you have to go through every step. Where mm -hmm. you talk to somebody say, Oh, he just went somewhere else. Go over here. And they do that, like... Five times. All right. Well, I'm at Posley Heights. Uh, yep. Yeah. You. I'll see if I can find. General White was the sad bomb that used to hang out in Petalburg. I just walked. I just brought up the walkthrough too, and this looks like the biggest pain in the okay. ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Could, go to go to Petalburg, oh and God. you'll you'll get to start your bullshit. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> oh, I just have to pay him money? Yeah, sure. Oh wow, weird. He, when we told him we'd give him all our money, he said he would do it, and then he gave it all back. Wow. Wow. Whoa. All right, so now where the hell am I going? <laughs> heck, where the heck am I going on this definitely not backtrack filler journey? Go to Pedalburg. You got it. Pedalburg is um, that's Cooper's, right? That, yeah, that's Field of Coopers. I don't remember any of the names. Yeah, I'm already in Petalbird. Okay, where, who do I talk to? Uh, you talk to... Oops. Koopa Troopa in the very western section. Done. General White. Oh, he said he was taking a trip. To deserted Island. He said he was either going there or not going there. Oh. <laughs> Good, one of the two. But now I have to go to the island? 
Yep, this is... You're, you'll just be led around like this for a bit, so have fun with that. No, the backtrack is usually awful in this game. The only reason it is tolerable is because I have locked the end game backtracking stuff, which you can easily miss. Okay, well, I'm on the deserted island. And then he said he was going to an arena. Okay. Yup. Also, yeah, fast, fast forward is honestly what's saving this more than anything is excessive beepus and fast forward. <laughs> also, crap, I don't think we have a shortcut to arena, actually. I don't think there is a pipe oh, no. that goes straight to arena. Unless I am mistaken, we actually have to go to town. I think, yeah, you have to take the blimp. Oh, I don't want to take the blimpo. Beepus. Ah, I have no time for Koopas. Magic or otherwise. Get out of here. Fire drive. That is how much time I do not have for Koopas. Oh, damn. <laughs> Beepus is way better fast forward. Wow, Beepus is better fast forward. Yeah, so like I said, it's it's a good game, but it is very easy to block out uh, these sections. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to make a big row of idiots? All right, well, here you go. Whoop! <laughs> the blimp is the fast travel. Uh. Yeah, I'm using Omega Beepus. <laughs> it's true. Final Beepus. I had to tell you, I can understand why people were so excited about Beepus. Yeah, no, he's great. He's pretty awesome. He is basically the saving grace. There goes the Beepus, there goes the Beepus, beeping at a Beepus. <laughs> yeah, imagine this game without Beepus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have to talk to this guy to get... Yeah, again, I, I've said it a million times over the course of 19 hours, and I'll say it again. Please make an HD remake of this game and trim it down to 10 hours. Everyone keeps saying, like, oh, 25, you know, 15, add a no, 10. It could really be 10. Right? <laughs> yep. Backtracking stuff just does not work. And it is more than half of the all. game at this point. Like, it is definitively more than half of this game should be cut. <laughs> Which is kind of a lot. Like, backtracking is painful already, but backtracking in an RPG is just like, oh, come on. Yeah, and whenever you go between uh, towns and stuff, you can never just walk there, or, or like, or, I mean, you can never just fast travel. Like, this is the end game. We've just finally unlocked all the backtracking. Before this, mm -hmm. you have to go through a sewer, that sewer area, you have to go through that every single time. Ugh. And now I just need to kind of run around until someone knows who I'm asking for. Oh, Save you, know, you a bunch of faffing about, he's in the juice bar. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Oh, what the hell's happening in here? There's a fight. That's the arena chapter, which would be good if it was five fights instead of twenty. Ugh. Okay, never, never mind. I'm not excited anymore. Sports rages on. That's mm -hmm. that's the wrestling chapter. Yep, which Ugh. is like pretty good, and then it keeps going. Um, he used to come here all the time. I haven't seen him lately. Oh, he went to a huge tree, or not? God damn it! <laughs> what a useful hint. This is great.
All the game's great moments make up for backtrack. You know, I'm not so sure at this point. I'm really not. <laughs> like, Remember, we're lot. doing this. We're doing this with speed up. Yeah. Oof. There's the a lot game's of... great moments make up for the backtrack because a month later you've forgotten all the backtrack, but exactly. remember the good. But moments. remember the good moments. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it is. And then people will deny that until their grave. But yeah. Yeah. It is very easy to forget boring crap. It's very hard to forget good crap. You know that part where Undertale can be played through like easily in like five hours? Yeah, that's one reason yeah. it's like my favorite game. Or <laughs> one of my favorite games is just because it's like, hmm, there is 100% no bullshit. You just kind of do stuff. Fire oh. drive. <laughs> At least I got fire drive. And have an overcharged Beepus. Yeah, it's good. It has flaws. Mainly, the filler is egregious. Yeah, including the time where you just have to... Yeah, Danry, there's a point in this game where you literally just have to press the A button 100 times to advance a dialogue box. That's it. It's a joke, what? but it goes it's, too It's long. not exaggeration. It's, it's 100 times. It's literally 100 times. Oh, that that's a good idea. That sounds good to me. Mm hmm Yeah, it definitely doesn't wear out. It's welcome. <laughs> Hi, do you know... Oh, going somewhere dark. Okay, bye. Alright, well that was a good trip. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> oh my god. Yup. Lawless. Better than Super Mario RPG, according to some very wrong people. <laughs> oh my god. Did somebody actually say that? A lot of people do, yeah. Again, they... <laughs> oh man. Ba -ba -da -ba. Maybe, the, maybe the joke is that it wears out its welcome, but it, it jokes have to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty major aspect that a lot of people miss. Y yeah. Like, you remember that time you walked around for 10 minutes doing absolutely nothing? That was fun. Uh, and it wouldn't be so bad, but that is actually a thing that is actively happening while you are doing backtracking that you don't want to do. <laughs> Which is, like, why it's an extra slap in the face. I like it more than Super Mario. I mean, you can like it more than it, but if you think it's better, I'm sorry about your wrong. It is. Guess what? You can like a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad, but you can like a bad thing. Like, I still like Mission Impossible 64, and that game's awful. Oh. <laughs> That's a special kind of awful, though. It is super terrible. I actually bought that from the internet because I love how awful it is. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it seemed like you were enjoying that LP, because it is... That's a it game, was, dude. The, That's a fucking there game. There were a lot of... Freaking uh, game. Fun and hateful memories coming back. Oh, it's really hard not to have them um, when you remember exactly how awful that game is. I asked <laughs> for it for Christmas. That was my Christmas present. That was my one, like, free game a year that I wow. chose for some reason. I'm Mission glad... I'm sorry. I'm glad that we all have, like, a shared hatred for that game. <laughs> it's like... It's like, oh, man... Go ahead. It could have been good. It could have been good. Ooh, it could have. <laughs> it's just so many things done terribly. I still remember it fondly, but then I actually played it and was like, all right, I kind of wish I never did that. <laughs> In retrospect, yeah. I should not have done it's this. It's one of those games where you're like, man, I, like, remember the embassy mission? That was so much fun. Like, you had to sneak around, you had to take out that assassin <laughs> stuff, and then you're like, oh. I literally right, started the that LP. The gas basement. Reminder, my first so full LP. I started <sighs> my first real LP <laughs> because I had fond memories of that game. And I was like, yeah. There were, uh, like there wasn't really a good one beforehand. I was like, man, there's not really a great LP of this game. Like, <laughs> nice, nice. This sounds. Oh, hey, cool. He looked tired. Okay, is he in here? Is he in bed? What? But 
you look tired. Is that all they're giving you? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna play keep talking and nobody explodes today. Uh, we are waiting for a new manual to come out because we've all kind of got too comfortable <laughs> with the current one. You want to know where you got to go? Yeah, sure. Go back to Snowtown. What? Yeah. Oh. oh, oh I told you. I told you they were this? doing it. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> all right. Um. Well. I had to tell you, uh, this is my first experience with Thousand Year Door, <laughs> not super impressed by it, I guess. Yeah, like, it's one of those things where, like, the art is kind of charming. A lot of the characters, like, you missed some of the best written chapters, quite frankly. Like, that one for the area we were just in, that chapter's really cool. Except you do have to retread ground, like... Oh, oh god, I'd have to go through and count. I think I even skipped a time that you normally would have to because I knew in advance. <laughs> But, like, yeah, you end up having to retread the exact same area with, like, pretty obnoxious enemies, like, six? Like, it's like four or five times, maybe? I don't remember exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah. I think, like, every, pretty much every chapter aside from the first makes you, it wastes your time in some way. Now, there is a question for you. Mission Impossible, better or worse than Bread? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Bread 64? Or Bread Game Boy Advance? 64. <laughs> or Game Boy Color, I mean. Um... Better, better, I would yeah. say. Um, because Quest 64 is actively painful to play. Like, I actively am thinking the whole time, I really want to be doing anything else. <laughs> or else, like, Mission Impossible Wait, 64, I'm just like, this is pretty bad. Mission Impossible 64. Yeah, bread color is vastly superior to bread 64. It, it, it rises to the, to the lofty heights of adequacy. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> you came into my home and you made this joke. I can't believe this. Um, no, but yeah, uh, Mission Impossible 64 has a certain charm to it and a lot of points that are like clearly someone tried. Like mostly yeah. laser swing. Laser swing is epitome peak. Somebody really tried to make this work. But it just was not gonna happen. My favorite part is how anytime you try to shoot somebody, you can be at point blank range. You shoot your gun. One second. Two seconds. Oh! <laughs> There's a very brief period of time before the bullet actually hits, regardless of how far you are. I like how excited Ethan is to be killing people. Like, he's always just like, yeah, way to go! Uh, one thing I don't think people caught uh, for a while in the LP was the fact that I went through like most of the first two or three missions only punching people. <laughs> um, and to the point that I went back and did a video of exactly who you could and could not punch and get away with it. Um, because it turns out the vast majority of people you are not allowed to punch. <laughs> Take that how you will. Just, just like in real life. <laughs> just like in real life, you cannot punch the majority of people. <laughs> Did you ever play the uh, PlayStation version of that? Um, I think once, and I remember like the music was better. Oof, the one thing I remember about the PlayStation version is there is voice acting, and that's all I can say about that. Oh my. <laughs> there, there is, in fact, voice acting, and no, he does not sound like Tom Cruise. I still love the fact that the main character model literally <laughs> looks like they, like, smashed a paper plate yeah. on Tom Cruise's face, and we're like, eh, close enough. <laughs> oh, God, the character models in that game. My favorite part is when you get that, uh, you know, it has the developer room at the ending. <laughs> And you go up to the one guy who's like, I'm the character artist, and his face is just like this melted texture, and yeah. so is his shirt. <laughs> it's like a shitty InfoGrames logo. I'm the artist. Like, well, I've been drinking. them all that, look the way I feel. That explains so much. It's like, wow, my condolences. Um, that was Ocean's last game, too, which, you know... Uh, 
says a lot. Or doesn't, you know, your choice. Was, was it published by o Ocean or, or Infogrames? I don't remember. Um, it was published by Ocean, I believe. And Ocean is... Renowned is a word I could use. Renowned, yeah. sure, for um, doing a lot of no. really bad... Um, like, uh, like tie-ins and licensed property games. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I gotta tell you, they made like seven different Jurassic Park games, and the one on Super Nintendo, it was so bad, it was so horrible, but I love every second of it. Like, that that game is my I don't know which one you're talking about, but Smite's played through multiple of them. Oh, listen, it's like a, whenever you go inside, it goes into like a really shitty leg. First person shooter? Cyclone. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, I uh, have seen Smite play through that one. It is literally I, hell on earth. It is so I don't think it's that one miserable. was bad. I think the only problem was that it did not have a save or password feature. Yeah, that was So tough. you had to beat the entire thing in one sitting, and this easily takes like six plus hours to beat without a walkthrough. I think my favorite part of the game is when they're like, oh, listen, there's raptors getting into the visitor center. You got to stop them. And the location you have to go to is the raptor pen, not the visitor center. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the visitor center, you just run around like an idiot. Fuck you. It's cool. You got a rocket launcher. You're fine. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, Alan Grant in the movie when he picked up the RPG and blew the T-Rex to smithereens. <laughs> I love that part. Same. kind of want to try... The unsimplifier for a bit. Apparently, killing dinosaurs with a rocket launcher was in the book. No. Man, why would they put the? Why would they not put that in the movie if they had an excuse to? Really, any movie can be improved by having a rocket launcher put into it, like just anywhere. <laughs> Well, it's like half the GoldenEye films. Or James <laughs> yeah. Bond films, right? 007, not GoldenEye. GoldenEye is just, uh, like, it's... peak bad. I love it. It's a... it's all GoldenEye to me. Oh, shit, we found this asshole. Doesn't waking up a sleeping person make you feel bad? You're not Undertale. Don't try and give me moral dilemmas here, bub. <laughs> so... How long was nice, this whole good. fetch sequence? Long enough. Alright, dude, come on. Well, the Skype call's been going for about 50 minutes, and uh, we've been doing this for most of that. Oh my god. Yeah, I could just look up stream time, probably like 30 minutes or so, and that was with speed up writing the beepus. Oh god. Nice, good. Nice, good. I guess the text hasn't looped yet, so I probably just have to keep going. I yeah, gotta tell you, not, oh my to, God. not super that is, impressed with this game. <laughs> that is actually what you have to do. You fucking serious? I am. I will allow swearing in Mario right now. Ten minutes swearing oh, in Mario! <laughs> Because this quest <laughs> was bullshit. That was terrible. Man, talk about things I don't remember. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, piss out my ass. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Point to one part of, pay of Super Mario RPG that's that shitty. That's right. There aren't any. Like... I was talking about even Star Hill, which is probably the low light of the game, is still mm. only like five minutes. Yeah, more it's if you like read what? the text, and it's just what, there's like, like four screens in total. Yeah, something like that. It's quite short. Yeah, it's like at worst, it's kind of a speed bump. Mm -hmm. It's the low point because there's the absence of any notable resistance to your forward movement. Mm -hmm. It's just kind yeah. of filler. Playing the left or right game a hundred times does not count because that's part of the most obtuse side quest on the planet, and it is so unnecessary. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's that's optional. You not you are not forced to go around and fucking crank the A button fifty times in a row. Mm -hmm. 
Oh good, apparently there is a side mission that is literally just doing this quest again, basically. I'd believe it. If you can go yes, back and please. do the glitch fit 20 times in a row again, yeah, you could definitely do this again. Why not? That's gameplay. That's all you. Mm. Uh, sounds like fun. i be able to advertise that 100 hours of content. <laughs> yes, seriously. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know, like, getting the Stark Egg is, like, the worst thing in the game of Super Mario RPG, but you also, like, never need to do it. Like, yeah, this is kind of cute, this whole sequence. Too bad I'm really, like, just still salty about how awful that last thing was. <laughs> yeah, just because you do something shitty for 40 minutes doesn't mean you can do a good thing for two minutes afterwards and, oh, we're all cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would really like an art book of this game and a collection of the cutscenes. And maybe do, like, the boss fights. Like a boss rush. And I think that would be the perfect, like, version of this game. And yeah, that other thing you saw is just statue. He's no canon here. This. This is canon. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, this is pretty cute. Yeah, it's a it's a clever subversion of what you would think. Like, no, the, the canon's right there. That's not the canon. You like, think that would get you in the moon? That's funny. Like, you think that would get you in the moon? Really? <laughs> like, no, no, no. Let, let's get this. Mm, look a little weird for a second there. <laughs> See, this is pretty clever. I like this. Mm -hmm. But to get here. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this part's charming. All the bombs coming together to use themselves as propellant. It's funny. What bombs do? Not it's so just much. a shame I had to do yeah. laps around the entire game for no purpose to do this. If I had bump attack, I would have had to do like two fights and could have just ran through everybody. Mm hmm. But, um, luckily that awful part is done, so, if I remember right, the moon is pretty sick. Oh right, I did forget one thing about the moon. Hey, guess what? Oh. You move slower. Ugh. Oh, you jump higher too, so that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So what happens if you beep us? Oh, yeah, no, I'm turbo beepusing. How oh, sweet. Don't, don't you worry, champ. I'm <laughs> riding that turbo beepus. Ain't no way am I not riding these turbo beepus right now. Also, these things have like way too much health. Wait, what? Oh, I just did it wrong. Oops. There, problem solved. Sweet. Oh, nope. Goodbye. Riding away my beepus. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta pull out Bombman. Oh, cool, and it's all the high defense enemies that you can't really do anything about unless you have specific stuff. Cool. Oh, thank god. It's ones that are fun to fight.
I love needing specific builds. Like, there's ways you can get around it, and just switching out to, like, I think it's Beepus works if you just, like, pull them out and do... Is that, oh, these are the... No, these are the good enemies. You want to... These motherfuckers are definitely not the worst enemy in video games. I swear to God. <laughs> Oh, they look fantastic. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, you remember those guys, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, so, okay, so those guys are great because they spawn two little robots that give them a shield, and they spawn two per turn. Uh, oh, my God. So you have to be able to kill at least two of them. Also great. <laughs> I love that the game has no idea how to deal with this, age <laughs> this uh, widescreen stuff. Yeah, no, that's actually probably the best part of this whole stream, <laughs> for being real. You can see the edge of the moon box. Yeah, luckily Beepus is quite good against over defense enemies. Also, I think Miss Mouse gets piercing against them, so I could use her too. Yep. Oh, but I need to blow up Bobbery to blow up all these rocks, but then I have to walk terribly slowly through the very good ah. environment. We won't make the maps bigger, we'll just make you walk slower. And we'll also just make the maps Perfect. a loop. Hey. Oh, my shit! Right here. I save point. <laughs> so if I remember right, this entire area loops, and it's on the map with the whatever, the castle in the background. I have to blow up one of the rocks, and one of the rocks will have a tube in it, which is this one, I believe. Which is great, because I'm getting shot at from every side. It's the one map with the pain in the ass enemies that you need to stand still and throw bombs at. Yup. Um, so I'm just gonna own this thing as fast as possible here. I missed the second jump, but whatever, it does not matter. Also, I remembered something else really nice. Bobbery can flip these idiots over. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> oh, huh, what's that chat? You don't remember this being so obnoxious? Oh, huh, weird. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty much been the story of the whole game at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't remember this part being so obnoxious. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I know you know. Stop, like partner. Um. Hmm. At least Vivian is still good. So yeah, here, here's what they do, by the way. So he gets to attack, and then uh, spit out two things. Oh no, just one this time. Okay, good. So. Or wait, no. Does There's. Is it the shield? I think there is definitely another variant that does too. Yeah. Or I think it's this one can, instead of attacking, just do a second one. Hmm. Whew. Thanks for the coins. Thanks, Bay. Now I gotta go get them before they despawn. Okay, I got most of them. <laughs> Free doubloons. Like how of all the places, this is where you get the coin curse. Mm-hmm. Right? Alright, Bobbery, just blow that- flip that nutsack over. <laughs> flip that crusty old <laughs> nutsack over. No. I'm gonna effin' swan dive on him. Oh, I keep forgetting I have Desimplifier, so I should really be using my, like, specials. 
Yeah, you're full up. Yeah. Use that meter. I wonder if that makes super guards harder as well. Uh, they're already only... was it two frames? Or three? It was three frames, right? Because Admiral looked Yeah. Good. Or just new, probably. No yeah. Admiral. <laughs> Also, yeah, the combat's just, uh, it gets a little slow. And you don't really notice it until you have to do a lot of it. As good as it is, it's kind of like, I'd like if the theatrics were a bit shorter. Yeah. The only ones that are really kind of game-changing are the ones that inflict status effects. Yeah, and luckily it's not Final Fantasy IX levels of bad <laughs> as oh, far as the attacks Christ. taking way too long because again no. final fantasy 9 is another great example of a game that has a good game somewhere in there man <laughs> i don't know where but it's in there i swear to god and i want to play it but i can't remember i don't know where it is <laughs> all right finally moon base John Madden, John Madden, football. Oh, <laughs> oh man, here it is. Super scary fight, I guess. If I didn't have fire drive, probably. Blah! Also, yeah, the unsimplifier seems to actually be like way too big of a difference. <laughs> like, <laughs> Because, like, I mean, heck, dude, I've been doing these forever. And I'm just getting drowned in star uh, energy right now. Heck, can I equip another unsimplifier? That'd be great. <laughs> oh, there's Gosh. an idea. A step beyond complicated. Yeah, would that, would that make it even tighter, though? No, I don't think they stack. Also, I don't know if you can even get multiple... That would be sick, though. Just getting, like, four of those, stacking them. I did one attack and the game crashed because the amount of appeal I got overflowed. <laughs> <laughs> you got this one frame rendu window. Let's try that again, forming syllables this time. <laughs> <laughs> Luna's dead. <laughs> you got this one frame window. Get dunked on. Also, yeah, this the real is... trick is when you get it down to the zero frame window that gives you infinite feedback. Oh god. So one thing that this game does very well is initiative strikes are really good in this game. Um, particularly because when you get the upgraded hammers and stuff, you can do like variants of your move where you have to like charge up the swing beforehand. And like, nice. so it's tough to nail those, but if you do... But yeah, you get to do your special moves that would normally cost you stuff for free as an opener. Yeah. As just a free move, and that's really good. Uh, Bobbery is actually the best one. The bomb guy I'm using. If I can manage uh, to hit somebody with him from a distance, it's just super good. <laughs> so same as the first game. Mm hmm that's, that's like the only opening attack I ever use. Only reason the charge hammer is so ludicrously good uh, right now? Oh, whoops. Dang it. That's the worst thing. I just walked all the way over. And then slipped off because I was trying to open it wrong. Oh my god. Yeah, I accidentally walked off. That's terrible. Wah, wah. Um, but the only reason the hammer is better uh, is because I have a bunch of make my hammer better at owning things badges equipped.
Womp. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. You don't even get the full swing. Yeah. You just get the womp. <laughs> But yeah, Fire Drive, by the way, uh, you can get it really early game, uh, you're not supposed to, I don't think. Cause it is just ludicrously good forever. Like, in this game there's a pit of 100 trials that I recommend you never do. Yeah, it sounds fun. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, but, cause it's just 100 fights in a row. And there's no shortcuts, so you have to do it all in one no. go. Yeah, like I said, net and don't. <laughs> but... This game is a serious thing for making you do stuff a hundred times. Yeah, um... Yeah, what the fuck? But if you go through 20 of it... Yeah, no, like, jump does the most damage. Um, fire drive is, I guess it's not speed run optimized, but like, I'm not speed running. I'm cash running. Uh, speed run, no. Yeah, speed running RPGs <laughs> in general, like, uh, you're already, yes, you've please. already messed up. You already made a mistake. <laughs> don't, don't speed run an RPG, don't do it. Here's my speed run a chrono trigger. Oh my god, I'm so oh. sorry. Oh! <laughs> Was that like, eight hours long or something crazy like that? Uh, it's exactly boredom hours long. It's exactly uh, stop putting it on a. I, I mean, I guess if it raises money, man. I, I guess. I mean, it was very smart of them to put them in, the, put it right in the middle of the was night. Is this where I was supposed to be? Am I like not thinking of something? Is someone functional as a gear? Hi, Flurry. Can you be a gear? Do you need to make some kind of new tooth wheel friend? Beepus. Be my gear. Beepus is the answer to everything. Oh. I don't think it'd be a crane game thing, but then I can't do that either. Okay, whatever. Beepus, just let me put you on the platform. I can lift you that high. Just get up there and get the stuff. Just get the stuff, Beepus. <laughs> yeah, no, like, task runs of RPGs where it's like a joke thing because they end the game in like two minutes. Those are hilarious. Like, yeah. who is it who did the, the Chrono Trigger Let's Play where they did it like on New Game Plus or whatever? <laughs> and just like did the thing where they just like went right to the last fight and just skipped the entire thing. <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> that, my friends, was a good joke. Also, I'm just not fighting these guys. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I say, as much as we said, uh, don't speedrun RPGs, uh, that one blindfolded uh, Pokemon RPG. Oh, that was great. Or speedrun, rather. That one was really good. Yeah, uh, that one was really like, clever. That's the only one. Like, it's got to have, like, an interesting gimmick, not just, hey, look, I saved the game, and that skips this cutscene. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, uh, oh. That's one reason the Chrono Trigger one is... Son of a gun. Um, is so intolerably bad. Yeah, that was rough. Um, is because 99% of the speedrun is just, um, like, this one glitch where if you pause at a certain time, it skips a cutscene. Yeah. That is 99% of the speedrun. <laughs> and you want to play an RPG and just cut out all of the, like, talky bits? Oh, yes, please. Whereas the Chrono Trigger Tess is amazing because it uses deep wizardry to get memory access and then the laws of the <laughs> universe mean nothing. Those are, yeah, oh, those, shit. those are the good ones. Wait. Does this teleporter take me back here? Does this door not? Oh, no. Oh, hey! They actually give you a shortcut back to town. 
That's surprisingly nice of them. That's surprisingly decent of them. If that's not actually a shortcut and I now have to walk back through everything, uh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, no, the Pokemon Blue speedrun race, blindfolded, was super excellent. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was gonna cook a spaghetti. Hi! I would like you to make me lots of spaghetti. Yeah. And a dried mushroom. Thanks. Here comes fast spaghetti. The spaghetti! Spaghetti! Make some nice biscotti and tomatoes. <laughs> spaghetti! <laughs> Did you know spaghetti is a good ass name for a dog? <laughs> I've heard things. Mm -hmm. It's true. Try it sometime. Yeah, the moon fast travel is probably more for like, oh, I feel like doing side quests. Oh, whoops, I got shot. <laughs> I'll just do anything in my power to one-shot those guys. Yucks. Oh, yeah, I guess I have this again, so I should just do that. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks. Goodbye, nerd. Nah. I'm just walking away from this guy, just... Nah. <laughs> Don't have time for you today. Come on, come get blown up. Oh, you little son of a gun. No, stop it. Get dunked on. What? Ugh. I demand this man get dunked on. Come on, eh. <laughs> really? That didn't count. He was like, hmm. There! Oh, hello, Fire Drive. How's it going? Whoop! Yeah, unsimplify the unsimplify these nuts. I already got this. With the stylish timings, no less. <laughs> oh! Okay, yeah, I think these are the ones that are like super terrible. The Axiox. Oh no. Hit these guys. Luckily, spin jump one shots them because I have so much damage on Mario. Praise Jesus. Hey, I'm in the main bad guy's office. Let's mess stuff up! Yeah! Let's do bad kid things! Yeah! <laughs> F your desktop, buddy. Nice carpet, though. Mm hmm. Time to realign his hole punch. <laughs> no. Yeah, your that's, documents. That's not gonna... called for. Your documents are gonna look hella stupid. <laughs> okay, let's hold on. There, there's, there's being prankster, and then there's just being malicious. We're going too far here. Enjoy your documents, stupid. Leave the documents as they are. Never. 
I will never not rustle these documents. No. Got him. <laughs> Even running full speed. Still got him. <laughs> Blam. Blam. Nice, leveled up again too. That's one nice thing about this area. I'm gonna level up really fast. Whoop. More BP, thanks. By the way, that's our other uh, stat, is our Beepus, so I'm leveling up our Beepus as well. It's uh, the wrong way. We've already maxed Beepus, but there's no limit to how much Beepus we can pile on, hypothetically. Mm -hmm. um, I could give myself more HP. I could give myself more FP, which seems to be more of, you know, the problem, generally. Alright, please enter the ac access code? Ugh. It one 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 one. Is it even numbers? Uh, this this looks fun. It no, we have to find it somewhere. No, get out of here. <laughs> you scrub. I don't is have it. A, I don't have any Pepsi. It, Stop it, chat. <laughs> no Pepsi. Is it is it Dupless? Is it paper? Is it Peach? I bet that it's like is. Princess Peach. <laughs> Is oh, it uh, pearls? Watch, it's like banana hammocks. Something ridiculous. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so we haven't figured out the gears thing. Um, I have a key, but it's not the elevator key, and it's not the access code, so I guess we need to wander around more on level one. Cool. Hard drive. Whamp. If you know where I'm supposed to go and or want to look it up, that's fine. I have the key out of his office. And I did that maze. Um, and I got okay. the key from the other walking around the world maze. So you can find the code in... Sub-level 1 in the door to the right of the second elevator. All right. And that's where you can find the actual code. All right. To the right of the second elevator? Yep, that's what the guide says. In sub-level one? Uh, yes. I mean, that's where you put it in. I wonder if it means, like, one from the bottom or one from the top. Okay, well that was the shortcut, so it's not that room. Maybe it's in here. It's probably in here, like, posted somewhere. Like, this nerd is probably guarding it. Oh, st stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, there's probably a gear <laughs> somewhere. Just start killing until the problem's solved. Mm-hmm. Oh, and of course, all these guys have huge groups of pals with them. Ugh. Uh, yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's see who survives. None. None shall survive. Yeah, there's an open vent so I can super jump up here. probably means I can slip down into some room I normally would not have access to. Alright, well at least now we know how to get between all the things. Um, also, someone said they think they saw a gear in here. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I have to drop down from the ceiling and beep this over. Ah. Uh. Let me backtrack to the room that I can go up in. Even 
This, there is minor backtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. I really like to waste your time. Man, I really like this game, but this is getting severe. <clears throat> oh, I missed. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. And since I did it with, uh... Oh, yes. Nice. Actually, this kind of owns. Finally. Eight -bit something it owns. Can I ride the tiny beepus? No. Mm -hmm. Also, since I am Luigi, I get to be Luigi. <laughs> Left, right, middle. Code is 014029. Okay. Finally. Yo, can we just have a Mario RPG that looks like this? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Think? Yeah, I'd be fine with that. I'm sure somebody could hack the Super Nintendo version. So you always get that sprite. So it was what, 014029? Yep. One sec, let me go back to that. Oh, I can't use the D-pad, that's a shame. Um... Alright, before we do this next game show part, uh, I really have to use the restroom, so I'm just gonna split recording.